Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at installing and dyno testing of course the RevX by SCT Tuner with five star three custom tunes available for your 15 to 17 5 liter F-150. You should be checking this out for your Coyote motor if you're looking to increase your horsepower and torque numbers with custom tunes custom built for your particular motor and all of your mods. Whether it be stock, bolt-on modded, or forced induction based, you can of course increase your drivability, have a lot more fun and a better experience with your F-150 while increasing power and torque numbers and your throttle response, especially at the low end. Now, as you can see, we've got our 15 strapped down to the dyno behind me. And full disclosure, guys, it's got a set of big, meaty 35-inch tires, all terrains at that in the front and rear. We're not gonna put it back to stock today. I wanna show you guys what it makes with these tires on. And keep in mind that can rob a little bit of power with those bigger tires. So you can expect a little bit higher of a number if you guys at home are doing the same thing to your truck, but with factory wheels on it, going from 31s from the factory to 35s is a huge difference so it's definitely worth noting there that those are on also keep in mind we're running 93 octane in the tank for our baseline stock pull and 93 octane in the tank for our after pull so of course that is going to give you the most even comparison from baseline to the after effect Well guys, as you saw, we strapped our 2015 down to the dyno with 93 octane in the tank and bone stock, here's what we've walked away with. About 286, almost 287 horsepower and 302, almost 303 foot pounds of torque at the rear wheels. So then of course, we uploaded our 93 tune from Five Star and ran it again and here's what we've walked away with. 301, almost 302 horsepower and 315 foot pounds of torque. Now, that's a pretty decent increase in horsepower and torque for peak gains, but it's a little bit better under the curve. Now, we realize that under the curve, we're making the most at about 3,600 RPM, so low end gains. And under the curve, we're looking at about 14 horsepower and 20 foot pounds of torque at 3,600 RPM. And honestly, I'm pretty okay with these numbers. It's definitely things we can feel. And again, drivability is gonna be a night and day difference. Now the five star RevX by SCT Tuner comes in right around 450 bucks. And it's a simple one out of three wrenches that anybody can tackle in the driveway at home, just following the instructions on the tuner. I'm gonna show you guys how the install works as far as flashing your truck. So let's get into it. Guys, the first step of the process here, of course, is to plug in your RevX by SCT Tuner to your OBD2 port using the harness included in the kit. Once you boot up the main menu, make sure your key is in the on position, but do not start your engine. I wanna take you guys first through how to tune your vehicle. It's really that simple. So going off the main menu, you're gonna hit program vehicle. Confirm that your VIN number matches the VIN number of your truck. And then at this point, it may prompt you for device updates. Ours is already up to date. I've confirmed that. So if it's right out of the box, you might wanna go through with this, hit continue. But for us, we're gonna go for skip because we've already updated ours. Cloud Sync is another option here. Now, if you're a tuner, in this case, Five Star has uploaded your tunes to the cloud, you do have the ability to, via Wi-Fi, Cloud Sync that back onto your device, simply the same as iCloud on your iPhone. It's basically another storage system that's wireless. Now, at that point, it'll take you through connecting to Wi-Fi. Um, you wanna make sure either a hotspot on your phone you're connecting to, maybe uh, Wi-Fi at your house, Whatever the case may be, we're already connected to a hotspot, so I'm gonna skip this section, and we already have our tunes on our device. We use the USB cord straight into my laptop to download them from Five Star, so depends on your particular situation. Just keep in mind, this is not legal for sailor use in California or pollution controlled vehicles, so make sure you confirm and continue. Next up, make sure your key is in the on position, press continue. From here guys, it'll take you to your tune menu. Now, you'll have several custom tunes available for you guys right out of the box from Five Star. You'll have the 87, 91, and 93, maybe labeled as economy or tow haul and performance. Uh, depends on how it's worded in the file. Uh, since we're only showing you a 93 tune for the dyno's sake, all we're gonna use is that 93 performance option. But for you, you'll have several tunes in the custom tunes file section of your program vehicle menu. Once you select the option that you wanna move forward with, it'll open up a menu asking if you wanna change additional tune options as you see here. Those tune options that you have the ability to change and customize yourself would be something like tire size, rear gear ratio, um, rev limiter, speed limiter, so on and so forth. We're gonna go ahead and just use the same file that Five Star sent us without making any changes, but you do have the ability to do so if you hit change. We're gonna go over and hit skip. It'll just confirm that that's what you want. 
and it'll move forward. First, it'll unlock your processor. It may save your factory stock tune to the device. That way, in the future, if you ever wanted to revert back to stock, you have the ability to do so straight on your RevX tuner. Um, so once that's taken care of, it'll start moving into actually writing your 93 octane tune file or whichever tune that you selected from that menu. From here, it'll go from zero to 100 several times. So just have a little bit of patience. It'll make its way through uh, all while keeping the key in the on position without starting your motor. Do not turn that off or unplug the device by any means. You don't want to corrupt any files um, and you also don't want to half tune the vehicle. Of course, that can cause a lot of issues for the ECU. So once it gets started, just let it do its thing. And if for any reason in the future you need to revert back to stock, you'll have the ability to do so in the same menu. At this point, it prompts you to turn your key off. Press continue. It may do this several times throughout the process. Once you turn it off, it'll prompt you in a couple seconds to turn it back on. Still without starting the engine, press continue. Right again, it's prompting us to turn our key off, then back on. One more time, we're gonna turn this back off, on. Perfect, and we're good to go. What I'm gonna do is hit done. I wanna take you guys through some of the menu options and device features that I mentioned a little bit earlier on. Now, we just went through the program vehicle option in the main menu, but if you go down one, you'll see gauges and data log. Gauges and data log are really good options for the guys who wanna take advantage of checking on their engine vitals and monitoring their engine vitals on the fly with this plugged in. Take you through a couple of options here, show you what that looks like. Basically, if you wanna track your air fuel ratio, if you wanna track your coolant temp, trans temp, things of that nature, you can do so on this device. First, you wanna look for your particular vehicle. So we're gonna head down here. It's a Ford gas vehicle, 08 and newer, it's a 2015. So that's the one we wanna check. Press continue. There's a lot of options on that device. Since the device can be used for so many different applications, you wanna make sure you're selecting the right one. Now for this, you can go over to your gauge layout and select how many different vitals you wanna monitor on the fly, whether it be in portrait mode or you can rotate that and have it in landscape. I'm gonna show you guys just one other option here. Go ahead, select that, it'll open up. You see we can have boost and PSI up top, control module voltage, cool and temp. Say you just don't wanna track your boost in PSI. You can select that, head down to item, and then say you wanna come down here and just track your RPMs. You can hit approve, now your RPMs are up at the top. This is a, just a really useful option for guys who wanna keep track of this stuff on the fly. May not be for everybody, but if you're looking for that additional availability, you don't have to pick up gauge pods and separate gauges and do separate wiring and connectivity. It's all done here on one device. So if you want a data log, you can also do that here. You can start recording data. Data logging is for the guys out there who wanna work closely with their tuner, maybe make revisions in the future, maybe improvements, see if there's anything else they can do. You can always record data right on the device here with start recording data, you know, hit the road, drive it around. If you're on the dyno, maybe you're dyno testing, that's a feature as well. So we're gonna go back, stop data, Vehicle functions, another option. You can read DTC codes, DTC being your diagnostic trouble codes, otherwise known as your check engine light. If that dreaded check engine light comes on the dash and your gauges, you can plug this into your OBD2, read your DTC codes, see what's going on. It'll provide you with a code and a description. Figuring that out, you can then clear the DTC codes. Head back here. Vehicle info is another useful thing to keep track of. 
It'll read your vehicle's VIN number, your ECU strategy code, computer code, things of that nature. Uh, you'll have access to that right at your fingertips. Um, useful stuff for the guys, again, contacting your tuner if you need to know that, or if you quickly wanna know your VIN number, right there, uh, just in case your sticker falls off. Device info is another thing. This one just has your device name, your part number, serial number is a useful thing to know for your tuner if you're working with them closely. Finally, device settings. You can check for updates via Wi-Fi right on the device. Uh, if you have that Wi-Fi connectivity, you can always connect down here in the Wi-Fi menu option. Uh, checking for updates periodically definitely keeps the firmware and software on your device up to date. Cloud file sync, already went over that. If you wanna pull uh, tune files off of the cloud from your tuner, you can do so there. If you are data logging, like I just showed you, you can upload your data log to the cloud without needing the USB cable on your laptop and send that to your tuner via the cloud. That's always good. Below that, it's just very simple device options, brightness, orientation from portrait to landscape, and you can always format your device. You can change the theme, things of that nature. Breaking down some of those tunes from Five Star, keep in mind that that factory strategy that comes in your truck from Ford is a little conservative and rich in the fuel tables and essentially has long delay timers before adding additional fuel, which can really be problematic when trying to add more power and torque to these things. So that gets revised in the Five Star tunes here in order to be able to dump a little bit more fuel, especially a wide open throttle, in order to give you guys a little bit more power. Now the drive-by wire is something that Five Star focuses heavily on in order to modify that delay between the time you hit the pedal to the time your truck actually gets going and the throttle body opens up. That's known as the drive-by wire delay. Editing that, even eliminating it completely, can really just give you that pure acceleration, pure throttle response, making it feel like there's a ton of low end torque down low, getting you off the line a lot quicker. Expect quicker zero to 60s with this, quarter mile times can be improved, all with that simple edit of the tune file. Other things in the tune are also modified. Your torque converter gets locked sooner and stays locked longer, therefore making sure that you can keep your power throughout the RPM band, access the RPM band power a little bit more. And you're also getting quicker downshifts, you're getting a more drivable feel, a more sporty feel, your transmission firmness is increased. Higher octane fuels, like 93 octane of course, will net more power and economy with timing and spark advances in the five star tune, giving you a little bit more power and a little bit better fuel mileage. The same thing goes for 87 and lower octane fuels, you'll be gaining respectable power here. Sport mode's gonna be altered as well. Up until now, sport mode's really only useful in these 5.0s at wide open throttle, and let's be honest, how often do we drive at wide open throttle? You guys can take advantage of that instead of at wide open throttle a little more through fourth through sixth gear. Tow and haul mode's also gonna make life a little bit easier for you guys taking advantage through second through fourth gear, which had otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for these 5.0s and guys working in that mode, hauling upwards and above 5,000 pounds. Shift strategies are also moved around in the tune because from the factory, that tune and six speed transmissions often hit six gear between 30 and 38 miles an hour, which leaves downshifting to be a little sluggish. It kind of feels like you're being lugged down. Downshifting isn't as great. Acceleration's not as great. So being altered in the tunes here from Five Star, you can take advantage of those higher gears at lower RPM speeds with a little more torque at the high end, bringing it to life a little bit better while also reducing the delay time and downshifting. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up my review, install, and dyno testing of the Five Star RevX by SCT Tuner with three custom tunes available for the 15 to 17 50 F-150. You can get yours with the Five Star Tunes right here at americantrucks.com.